How you cats doing? Happy New Year and all that jazz. How is your uh, fitness New Year's resolution going? Yeah, it's end of January. It's kind of tough. Uh, I'm not a big uh, resolution guy, especially when it comes to fitness. Uh, we wonder why we end. Uh, a lot of us end up failing. Well, I have a theory on that. Uh, you set your sights on January 1st to start kicking ass. So December, you just like, oh, I gotta blow it out. So you have a whole bunch of booze, you you just have bad food, a bunch of sugar, so you're in your worst shape for that year, and then all of a sudden you wanna get cut and ripped and just ridiculous right after all that. So one quick little trick that I do is if I ever set a fitness goal, not really a resolution, I start in December. So you finish strong at the end of that year, and then you're blasting into the new year, you're, you hit the ground running. But forget about that, That's we can't go back to last year. But what I do like, and what you guys can start at any time, is just adding the small stuff, which over time adds up to the big stuff. I was uh, tooling around the old internets, and found that there's a Japanese term for this called Kaizen, which tra loosely translates as good change and it's constant, leading to constant improvement. And uh, I read this book by James Clear called Atomic Habits, and he talks about the same thing. So my example was last year I said, okay, I've got my regular workouts, but I'm gonna add a minimum of 20 minutes a day of yoga. It doesn't sound like much, but that's yoga every single day, 365 days, 20 minutes. In addition to either lifting weights, kicking the heavy bag, or the body weight stuff I do. And um, it was awesome. That little bit of yoga helped the workouts, the workouts helped the yoga, and so on. So this year, not to go crazy, I just added 10 minutes. So 30 minutes a day. And I'm feeling the benefit already. And I, I know I can sustain this all year long, so I'm not gonna fail. And now you might be thinking, oh, what's 10 minutes? Well, remember, I do it every day. So that 10 minutes over a week, seven days, is an hour and 10 minutes. And then you blast that out for the month, that's four hours and 40 minutes of extra yoga that month. And then you blast that out to 52 weeks. Well, I'll leave that up to you to do that math. I'm too busy making YouTube videos. <laughs> anyway, so, but that is constant change moving in the right direction uh, towards improvement. And it's not hard to do. And I know I'm not gonna drop off. I've been doing it every day. And the yoga is even getting a little better. And I'm the worst yogi on the planet. <laughs> but that's okay, we don't always have to do what we're good at. We get better when we do the hard stuff and the stuff that we're shitty at. Okay, somebody write that down. Anyway, good luck with this jazz. Kaizen, as the Japanese say. Arroo!